So you say untrue shit just because it's content? Oh, so hold on. Apparently we're watching the vlog where he makes a, con a comment about the girl and her very good looking friend. It didn't work out with the girl, but... I got it! Hold on, hold on, hold no! on. No! It didn't work out, but here's a crazy thing. I guess three of her friends at the hayride from Vice saw me because they had one like the week before. I know, I was there. They think I'm cute. And so I got all three of them snapped. And he still took her out to lunch today. Well, she paid. Hey, Alan. She paid. It was like 50 bucks. Put the f***ing sound effects, Alan, with a little spark. It's one of those days where you just finish everything you gotta do, and you go home. Three hours later. The next day. Yeah, we're back. In the, the Love Family Hospital here, getting IVs while working. Because, you know, we're bougie like that. Your roommate's mom got absolutely shit-faced. Right. She's no, a, no names, right? So yeah. We'll, we'll call her Karen. Yeah, yeah. Karen and uh, Joe Biden. That's my roommates. Karen, she got really drunk one night. And it was our second day living there. And I wanted a bunch of my friends to come over and, like, See just have a... Life. Yeah, and yeah. have, like, a, a movie night. So I, uh, I invited my buddy... Uh, Keaton, my hair hairstylist, my buddy's girlfriend, and then her little cousin. Keaton brought his girlfriend as well, and then I invited two more friends that didn't show up, right? So Karen, she gets drunk as hell, and she goes into the living room, and she just, like, looks back and stares at Diane, my buddy's girlfriend, mm -hmm. and just, like, really staring at her. And this buddy's, you know, like, this buddy lives somewhere else completely. Right? Yeah. So she lives here, he lives there. Anyways, she, she's like looking at her real intensely, and I didn't think too much of it. I thought she was just looking at all of us intensely because she was having a really bad night. Later on, she like started saying something, and then she yelled something directly at us. And I, you know, once again, I was trying to ignore it because Bang. she got a hold of it, probably. Right? Anthony's got a hold of it. She comes back into the room, and she's sitting there, and her and started arguing because... And they just got into a divorce, and uh, she had a moment of wanting those two to get back together. And since she thought that this girl was, was dating my roommate, and they were messing around, she thought that she needed to stop that. So she went over there, and she grabbed uh, Diane, and stood her up, and Bang. went over there and put her in a headlock, drug her away, and put her in her room. They just got into an argument. And, like, she's sitting there, she's clawing and scratching it. My buddy, and uh, he's just like trying to close this the door. This is your roommate's mother, Karen. Yep. So she's paranoid schizophrenic, mm -hmm. ex drug addict, a uh, pill popper, yeah, pill popper. drug addict. And your mother's met this person. Yep. And everyone's approval of your living there is it because it's so inexpensive and you're on your own, or are you trying to actively get the f out of there? So the thing is, is my buddy, he's trying to buy the house. And the original plan was I was going to rent a room out of there so I could help him out on rent and also have a place to stay myself, right? So I thought it was a win-win situation. So I'm going on a road trip in less than eight hours. I need to go to bed, but it's dad time, so I prepared everything. I didn't shoot a lot of the content of preparing, but wanted to get this on record. I'm expecting problems. We are going on a 26 hour road trip non-stop, stopping every four hours for about 30 minutes to charge. So it makes it feel more comfortable, but it is a convenience to not spend $1,600 one way for four people. We have the pass or whatever, but still. It was supposed to be just me and my daughter, and then it became me and my daughter and my son. And now it's me and my daughter and my son and my wife. So my point being, we've set an entire expectation of going on this road trip and we're going to do it diligently prepared preparedly but i'm expecting some chaos i'm expecting some fun i'm expecting some arguments i don't think the kids are going to get along post 12 hours bear with me on this because it's going to get good and then it's going to get bad and then the outcome is going to be perfect because it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Our first stop is going to be Shamrock, Texas. We should get there at 10, 17 a.m. I think we'll stop and we'll have breakfast. Lunch will be Amarillo, Texas. I like this place. It should be interesting. Kids should have some time to run around. We'll be charging there for 11 minutes. Then we stop in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. Not looking forward to Santa Rosa, but we will charge for 11 minutes and then skip Tucumacari, where is the meth capital of the world. We'll go to Albuquerque, New Mexico, Charge for 18 minutes. That'll be 4.39 p.m. On to Gallup, New Mexico, where we charge for 25 minutes. From there, we hit 
Flagstaff, Arizona. We charge for 13 minutes. We hit Kingman, Arizona, and that's where we might stay for the night because we'll be there for 12 minutes. But if we stay the night for four or five hours, then we'll get there the next morning or afternoon at like four, so Saturday at four. But we should be in California by 11.40 a.m. on Saturday. That's the idea. So it's two hours back. So if you add that, that's like 1.40 here. If we're leaving at 8.15, that's, gosh, about 30 hours of traveling with the charging time. Yep, 30 hours, 1,605 miles. Yeah, total travel time is one day, three hours, and 26 minutes. But we will go from Flagstaff, Arizona to Kingman, and then whenever we leave Kingman at 12.35, we'll go to Baker. Baker is the most least favorite place for charging your car. This time I'll do full vlogs of every place we stop. So Mojave, California is after Baker. I like Mojave, except I really hate their charging station. Uh, it's a nice scenery, but it has the, if you remember, the Wiener Schnitzel from hell that uh, someone had smashed their toilets with sledgehammers. From Mojave, we go to Madera. Madera is really nice. Avenue 7 it's called, but from there we'll get to my parents' house at 11.40 a.m. So I'm gonna send us to the car, Get it prepped so it preps the battery. That is our trip. Just about halfway across the state. I made this trip about nine times now. Only twice with family, twice there and back. And then once with my son over here. So, there is a fly in my house that's killing me. I don't know what, how flies get in this house, man, it's crazy. So we're gonna see exactly how this goes. And by the end of it, either I'm gonna wanna rip out what's left of my hair, or it's gonna be a bonding experience between me and the kids. And my wife. See you when it Yo, comes. Life can be super happy. Life can be super sad. I'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad. I go back to my future just to get to my past. But 